Hello everyone, good evening. Welcome to my Facebook Live for um, the week. This is my regular Wednesday evening Facebook Live. So thank you for joining me. My name is Rachelle Laird Smith and I'm from Stamping Clare. I'm in Melbourne, Australia. Let me know who is watching and welcome to those who will be watching this on replay as well. Uh, say hi to me and I will be checking comments as well. Um, if I miss any comments, I will go back and watch it. So thanks for joining me for our creation today using the Christmas Classics Bundle from the Stamping Up Mini Catalog. Now, I did share a card on Saturday using this bundle uh, for my 12 Days of Christmas, the second in the series of my 12 Days of Christmas. And I, if you haven't caught it, it's on my YouTube channel. So go ahead and check that. That was a fun fold. Um, I do apologize. The sound was a bit sketchy, but you can um, get uh, put the subtitles and you'll get the idea and you will have, um, you can still manage my words there, but it was just a bit, there was a bit of an echo there. But today I hope I have sorted things out. And um, if for any reason the sound isn't coming through well, please let me know and I will keep an eye on that as well. So today, um, I won't share with you the card today. We'll just look through it. It is a card that I can make for a blog. I hope that is going live at 9 o'clock. So if I can stretch it for as long as I can and keep the element of surprise going. Um, we had a sketch challenge, and you will see the sketch up on my blog tonight when that goes live. So we could pick uh, one of two sketches. They were very similar. And um, I think uh, the one which had a boy in it. And uh, so uh, I mean, I'm going to be using the Winter Meadow Designer Series paper with the Christmas Classics bundle. So the Christmas Classics does have the joy of Christmas Designer Series paper. I'm pairing it with the Winter Meadow Series paper and, uh, and another from our annual catalog. Just as a heads up, today is your last day to get free shipping with stamping up. Any orders over $65, you will get free shipping. I'm just going to share these. Um, I'm making sure I'm all good on my uh, Facebook page. I like to just check it and also share it to my group. So if you're not a member of my uh, Paper Crafting Basics and Beyond group, check out that as well. And Give a second. And uh, let me know how your day has been going. Um, it's been a warm day in Melbourne today, and it's still feverish, a very springy day. So, uh, that's what, what's happening here today. All right, let me turn the camera around and show you. Um, I just want to show you. Some, a bit of what's going on. So you have, um, as you watch what I'm doing, you can maybe make a shop if you may like. And if you want to make an order, place the day to do it because you can wait to ship it. Um, so the offers, orders of $65 or $65 or over, you will get free shipping. I'm also offering any orders of $100, you are going to get a free card making kit using the heartfelt hexagon bundle that's a bit better um so these are the cards that you will get a full kit for um value at 35 dollars you will get um, all kind of series paper embellishments you'll get the stamp images but um that it uses that heartfelt hexagon bundle it's a great little bundle it's got lots of um a, a good variety of sentiments so that's you'll get the envelopes and everything to go with that. Um, so our side kit offer at the moment is it's two offers. You could go um, either one, one cost less, one cost more, but you get more products. So, uh, but the cheaper of the option is one hundred and nine dollars eighty five. Um, nice and easy, it's, uh, you get $235 of product which you can choose. 
Um, the other one um, is is a hundred and sixty dollars, and you get to choose three hundred and seventeen dollars twenty five for the product. Now, as soon as you buy your stylist, with your next order, you're going to start getting a discount. So uh, it's a minimum 20% discount, and then you have the opportunity to increase that as you go along. But so if you are looking at anything above an order above dollars, I would at least consider that starter kit, which is $109.85. It is shipped free to you. you um, there's nothing to lose you're just getting you get to choose two thirty five dollars worth of product and you have you can just try till april 2024 without making another single purchase but um i don't think we as practice we can do that we just um, love the product so much we tend to get something we've got a new festival coming out in a, few, in a couple of months um which is another mini catalog we've got um lots of uh, online exclusive products, so lots of bits and pieces coming up. So you may find that if you are liking the product, you may want to take advantage of that. And I'll just show you this as a comparison. This is just for you today. This is a comparison between what you get with the free shipping option, which ends today, your starter kit option one, and your starter kit option two. So the main thing is you're getting free shipping on all of them with your starting option one and two you also get a free registration to our virtual online um, event in november which is valued at 123 dollars if you get the starting kit option i don't want you to miss out on that card kit i will throw that in for you as um just a gift because that's um and it'll just be to make the cards you can get stamping you don't have to get the bundle you can use whatever you've got and it just gets you up to the list of four cards um something to keep all right today we have a card i am going to make using um a bit of different colors for christmas um stamping up have a creative challenge every um, month this month's creative challenge is um it's it's if you look up hashtag uh hash creative challenge you uh you will find they have a creative challenge every month so this month's challenge is to use some non-traditional christmas colors so i've gone with some i would say nowadays you get christmas trees and baubles in all kinds of colors don't you so I'm going with a bit of lemon lime twist, Lost Lagoon, Pretty Peacock. So I, I actually have um, this mess surprise in my bottle for like greens, blues and things like that. Considering I like pink, it, it's just funny. I just like the look of them, so I was like overly, I don't get overly caught up in, I have to have this, I, have to have that. I just like the color. But you get all sorts of um, pretty colors, and when you know that Christmas trees are probably out already, so yeah, we have everything. So what I've done is die cut this holly leaf from the Christmas classics bundle. Right? These are the dies. Oh, sorry, I'll show you. So you've got the stamp set. And you've got the dies here. Let me see whether I can get you a better, a bit of a larger picture. So you've got um, <clears throat> in here. So those are the dies that come with that bundle. So anytime you purchase a bundle, it says 10%. It means you're going to save 10% instead of purchasing them separately. So what I'm going to do, I'll cut these, die cut these out of uh, Fluid 100 cardstock. I'm going to do a bit of water coloring. Just getting rid of that notch, which is from the die. And then I'm going to bring in my, so I've got three colors. 
and use ink refills. I'm just because so I don't have a whole lot of things here. I'm just using my lemon lime twist first. And I'm gonna get my little clear block as my palettes. This sort of for me keeps it a little bit under control instead of having the colors of And it's just a little bit of the colors I need. So we'll start with lemon lime twist. And this is a silicon mat, which you can get. The ones you have now are a little bit smaller. Um, this is a older one I had. So I'm just creating a wash for that um, leaf. Do you like water coloring? Like I, what do you? What's your? Is it something that you do often? Or I, it for me, always uh, to me. I think you can't go wrong because there's no two that ever come the same. So this, that's the good thing. So I'm just releasing a bit of water and splodging it on. So this is lemon lime twist. And I love the look of this. I was down to my last sheet of fluid 100 that in my last my order I placed day before I had to um order some fluid 100. One of my must have to do water coloring. Okay, so I'm just going to teach you and I'm just wiping that off to release a bit of press to release some water. And just as a little tip, this opens your natural tendencies to open that way to the left. Okay, tighten to the right. It's sort of, yeah, it's against what you would normally do. Um, when you get it, you'll know what I mean, if you haven't tried it yet. So now I've lost the goon. I'm going to add a little bit, but if it starts um, merging too much, I'm going to give it a bit of a dry. I'll add a little bit, and then I'm going to dry it a little bit. So I don't want it to become too... Uh, Muddy. I want some definition in color. So just give your heat gun and um, setting one. As it dries, that intensity um, reduces as well. So let me get a little more um, lost again. Now this will be a different to my sample card or the one I made Log up just because it's watercoloring, <laughs> and uh, and that was my first card as well. So I was experimenting a bit, and you'll have to read about how I did it and what, why, and what not for a bit more. Detail, but It's a good block up to get to because we, we are all working off the same sketch. So you see what everyone comes up with. Okay. 
I will link up once the talk is live. I will link up to that here in the comments so you can um, go through and check out. We've got a great team of creators there. Do you like the look of this? Do you like the how oh, that watercolor? Right. So next, I'm bringing in um, pretty peacock. I'm not too fussed about cleaning that up at the moment because I'm going from a lighter blue to a darker blue. But I will um, pop off some of that intensity with that. See, that's a little bit dark, but that's okay. Just the design of the night. And if you wanted to blend a bit more or a bit more water, just release a bit of water and it'll just make that. So it's almost like a bit of shaded spruce look. Sprucey. I'm just bringing in a bit of lemon like this at the bottom. I'm just starting it. That's done that on the side. Bring that up. And I will give it a try and leave it sitting aside to completely dry before I assemble. So I found nothing to like alternate colors for Christmas. Just looks like a regular green and things like that. But wait, I'm gonna add a bit of a twist. Even that side looks nice, isn't it? Okay, I will just put that aside for now. I will move my ink pads. All right, so for my card base, I've got a basic white card base. Just uh, I use thick basic white. And I am going with the delightfully eclectic designer series paper here, which is going to form my mat right there. And I've got a piece of um, basic white which runs right down, and uh, we will be embossing that with the snowflake sky the embossing folder. So let's do that now. And that's all I'm going to need the, a machine for because I've done all of the die cutting earlier. Okay. So let's run that through. Uh -oh. 
I did forget to cut a little bit of this piece. We just need a little strip of the day, uh, Fresh as a Daisy designer series paper. I'm just going to be using some of that woody more. Uh, I'm sure I've had a piece here. Yeah, let's try to cut into it. But you know what, guys? Some, I just cut it. Um, but we can do that. That's okay. So I'm just going to cut a very thin strip. I just need a tiny, tiny bit. So let's do it. Snowflake sky, 3D emitting folder. So it's lighter on top, so a lighter like a snowfall, and further down it gets a bit um, more snow. That's from the very cute last little that one, which has the bear in it. So I am just going to bring a little bit off. This is the fresh as a, um, actually, there was another size. Piece. I like that little piece. And um, that's why I don't want to cut that. Aha, here we are. There's the one I cut already. So let's trim that down. So I'm just going to trim a little bit down. Just cut that to 14. Okay, so what we're going to do is glue this straight on this mat. So the other side of this paper is that, that's pretty pretty. That's a delightfully eclectic paper from the annual catalog. You get a whole heap of sheets in this paper. Huh? 40 sheets of 12 by 12. So there's loads. Okay. Then I will add this right there a little bit tiny bit longer just trim that a touch right there we're just pulling that that's the fresh of the daisy a little strip of designer series well, I just like the shading on that. You can use um, just cardstock if you want the Woody Moore cardstock, if you prefer. Now we're going to add our snowflake sky, uh, the embossing, embossed piece of cardstock, just directly on. Um, if you want to see, I will, um, the designer series paper, the Winter Meadow designer series paper, I did flick through it on one of my, <clears throat> on my first Christmas, 12 weeks of Christmas project. Have a look at that video, which is on my YouTube channel, that I show the sheets of the paper. Um, I'm running out of that, so that's why I'm telling you, because I've probably finished some of the sheets. So I have fast cut a one of these from the winter metal series paper so i will pass it with another one on screen <laughs> it's not that bad it's reasonably okay <clears throat> there is a stack that I, uh, which i haven't got up from paper because i just love the paper and um the stamps is the last day. This is my favorite book in the mini catalog. Just love the student colors in this. And I'm going to go around there. 
If you don't like that, you can, you can use something else. You can, or you can use this bundle, another stamp set or doll as you may have. I'm doing it. Yeah, I don't have to color anything. It's all done. Oh, apologies. That's, um, I need to put that on. Uh, Someone tried to call it on my phone then. Oh dear. <laughs> That's why that went. That's a good um, good warning to me. I did put it on silent, but I'm happy to do not disturb. So um that's something to learn from it. I didn't realize I did that. There you go. All right, so you can see that's not too bad. If I need another one, I'll cut it for the nail. We'll just keep it. So what I'm going to do now is die cut, which is also from the dies. Look at that light back up. Um, the Christmas classic. So this is the same paper with the fuzzy cut. I've used the reverse. I've done that, and I've also fuzzy, not fuzzy cut, die cut. The same paper with this, okay? Stick with me. It may seem like a lot of patterns going on, but it works, it works. So I'm just gonna glue that onto this. So, you could cut this from basic white and stamp your sentiments in there because we've got a range of sentiments as well. But I'm not using the sentiments from the set today. I'm using another sentiment. I have got a scrap of uh, white and I have got some um, bubble bark. The sentiment I'm using is um, from the brightest glow stamp set. I will stamp it in Moody Morph, which is one of our ink colors from this year. So that will go on till 2025. Um, you may need that we go. Is it from? Yes, it was. For a minute, I thought it wasn't. It was actually the first time I think I've used this particular sentiment. I just haven't put this stick on, you know, sometimes. And that's why you put your stick on so it doesn't go crooked. But they're all good. He loves the DSP food, Linda, yes. It's, I um I just like it's really nice soft colours, isn't it? And the watercolored look is really pretty. So I'm just going close like that. And we're just gonna stick it onto like just around, but I will I will measure it 
because hundred percent if I do it like that, it'll go crooked or something. <laughs> Does that happen to you? Oh dear. So it just it's like one point five by this. I'm being specific. Five point nine. I increased by about five mil. So you can see this is the total of a scrap. And if it's a little bit too much, I'll just cut it down. 1.5, so approximately should do. Let's see if it is too big. That's fine. Right. So we can just glue that and cut the rest off. Because sometimes not, none of the dyes are not, uh, not quite right for the size you want. Then you have to clear it. So I'm just fitting it right in there. So you can participate in the challenges too, which Camping Up have. Just um, so this one could take part in that creative challenge, create something with some unusual create a Christmas project with some different colors and um, add it to your Instagram or Facebook page with that hashtag. I'm likely to probably have to the um, bit of DSP and I'll push that a bit. And no, I don't put tiny bits of cardstock. It does my hair. Because after a while, there's only so much you can keep. So. What I did over the holidays, I started, I started on my very vanilla because I, I haven't even tried to attempt the um, basic white. All my scraps, I just cut it down to nice rectangles or squares so I can use it for stamping. Because they were all willy really in different sizes, bits cut out of it. It's driving me nuts. Sometimes you end up with so much back, but okay, you'll never use it because you can't see the bottom of the barrel. But if you want some ideas on what to do, you can present people. Um, when you go onto my blog, future put scrap or trips, and if you search under that, I'm you will find some ideas, like wherever I've used scrap or little strips or however I've used it, I've tried to um, tag it so you can find ideas to use. Because um, there's nice designs when you can use those. And if you can use it, go ahead. Okay, so stick this like this, All right, right across like that, and I'll get a fuss card, not a good guy card, two squares using um, the Snowflake Magic Specialty Paper. This is using the stylish shape, so this is one of the smaller squares, and we're just going to. And if we go 
wonder why I think it's weird. It's not weird. It's a nice design. And I like it. I like sketchy because it really does make you think and do something. Just a little bit different. I would never have this. So I'm thankful to my friend Andrew who makes up these fantastic um, challenges for us on our log hops. So we'll do it like that. And then let's bring in our leaves, which are nice and dry now. So they're going to be straight. And put that, I'll put a couple there and one here. So if I feel like that's too strong, color let's leave it in that lemon limey colors and do a comparison against my other card which is very more very much more pretty rock. right and that's that and that's what we're going with this that's the idea so let's start gluing so look at your designers and um, see what you can fussy cut. Um, there's lots you can do with just paper. You may not need um, uh, dies or the stamp set if that's not suited to um, you or what you need. There's always ways to use things. Okay. I haven't put a lot of glue there, so I can do that. So I've overlapped it like that. I'm going to stick that like that. And I'm going to add some dimensional, just three across, because it's a fairly large sentiment. It's going to hold everything together. It's the same on both sides. So if you feel, oh, this might be better. It's more I'm looking at the design. Same thing. Okay. Okay. Then I will add, I'm going to add one under there. Put the dimensional on our sentiment. This one's a little bit wider than my original one. But that's Then I take my bone folder. It's a bit not straight, is it? And I'm gonna give this a bit of a don't do this while it's wet, it may it may tear. Let's do it while it's nice and dry. And and I will add one like that. So uh, because I only added the two dimensionals, I can just sneak it in under that and one like that. And I like to layer, when I layer leaves and things, I use the, the sentiment, whatever I'm using, I put one over, one under. Sometimes I may even go under that. It creates your depth and makes it more real and how it would look in real life. And even though the dimension does add that depth, but doing this just makes it more extra bit. Um, actually, I might stick that one under there and put this one 
thicker one under there. And I'll just have that um, kind of on the, just on the segment there. Get some little dimensionals if we have somewhere. And I just put them on the berries. And because I've only had the two dimensional that in there. The next one is going to go right there. So just for balance, I'm doing two on top, one at the bottom. And then I'll alternate with the berries. I'll do one at the top and two at the bottom, two little sprigs or bunches whatever you want to pull them. So oh, I'm thinking like that. Then if, if you've got a bit one that's not right, I can hide it under. And no one will know. I had one that was like a half and I just stuck that in. So you can put that. And then it just looks cool as well if you have more berries. I'm going to put it like that. So just adding the leaf on top of the sentiments. When I give you. Just add that on top of the sentiment. Something else. And in there. Then that can go like that. I've just curled it with my fingers. I haven't done a big job. Now this is how I generally do little arrangements or anything like that. So I give myself a bit of space so I can put this. Now in the sketch we were we had two options, like one with the ball and the other. But of course I chose one with boy. Um, so let's put the ball on and then I will also add some um, festive pearls. This is a good all-rounder embellishment. Um, you can use it for so many projects like if you want like like it's like having rhinestones or the iridescent pearls this one it's got different colors and like a real good christmasy one uh, so if you wanted to like stick with one for christmas i think this would, this would cover a fair bit of projects So for our ribbon or trim, I've got the all favorite that we can trim. When I first got the half and used it, and now like, I've, I've got used to it, like I've used it a lot, it's got tape up in my cords. So I'm taping approximately like 60 centimeters, right? Um, like a double ruler. And I wasn't sure how this would 
try with a double bow each time. Um, so just cut that off. And then tie a bow. It may be excess, but it's better than really because once you start to feel with the see how they just go everywhere like you like need all um lots of fingers so what i do generally is try and get two fingers in the loops right and then i tighten So I get my fingers in there and I tighten. So pull down. One's not playing. Okay. So one will be one, obviously, when my, my fingers are a little bit smaller. But it's just so you get a nice tight knot as you can, especially with this type of twine. It's a little bit not like a ribbon as such. So it's a bit easier when you do that. And then I will cut it, but I'm going to stick it down first and then cut it. Because sometimes when you're going to put your glue dot and things, it might shift. And then I don't want to have nothing to work with if I have to redo it. I'm going to put my ribbon there. I might even put... I love how it um, goes, like the tails go, but it can be um, hard to, what do you call, stick it down because it's all over the shop. That's all. It, it sits really nice. I might add a second one. It's just the nature of the line. I should have a trim. Get those tails out of the way. And then you just stick it there. So now I have, I'll just make sure that they are the right but I don't I generally don't cut everything together I will cut them um, separately just to create some nice just so it doesn't look too even all right I will show you the card that I've done um, with it with the other one but I'll I'll Put some designer series tape on the inside, and I you can I'm not too fast with the stripe going left, right, up the bottom. Um, I just had a bit of a strip here, so I just thought I'll use that instead of wasting the strip. It still makes it nice, and um, you could even use some of the, the winter meadow designer series paper. You could put some of that on the outside, on the envelope, if you wanted to just mix and match it. Whatever you've got left, use it. It's just a nice way to embellish your um, cards and use up the scraps so less wastage so that i hope you have enjoyed that card i will show you my other one and you can compare the leaves how the water coloring um, came out and it's different so here's how i decorated it with other envelope so this is more um pretty peacock um more blues and I've got a more vibrant um, lemon lime twist in here. Um, and of course, like I've obviously cut, cut different parts of the GSP for the berries. I hope you have enjoyed that. If you would like to place an order, you can do that online so you can take uh, advantage of the free shipping. You can also call me. Um, no problems. Um, I'm available. So just give me a call to place your order. And I don't want to to miss out 
on today's free shipping, it does save you a bit of money. So um, you might as well take advantage of it. All right. Thank you so much. If I can be of any assistance, please give me a call or you can email me at freshell at samuelclare.com. Thank you so much. I look forward to catching up with you on my YouTube channel on Saturday at 7.30 for my 12 weeks of Christmas. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.